Hello. Hello. So here is the main screen. Um, yes. So isn't it a lovely main screen? I certainly like how there's a line through all of it, like it was written sideways in a book. Oh no, it was like on a map in the movie they folded the page, <laughs> and the ink wasn't dry enough. Do you have this recording of you, man? No, I miss you too. Hugs, hugs. Mm. Captain, we're hugging right now. Yeah. So, um, you can tell Nick isn't here. Uh, he kind of, I, I fell out, I, left. I think he died. So we're gonna start a new character. We'll, we'll yeah. rush through the boring shit we've already done. Yeah, so. this is gonna be heavily cutted out, so. I'll just speed it up or some shit. Schwinter is coming. <laughs> Let's go warrior. Ooh. I'm just looking at that endurance. That's the highest endurance there. All right. Fuck. Oh, good strength. It'll be. I did a life ring. Yeah, let's go life ring, but. All right. Um. I was joking when I said, actually, we look like the guy from Prometheus. Let's do that. Yesterday, I was recording with um, Rihanna. We decided to do a thing where she'd try go through Dark Souls for the first time as like a complete noob. It took her an hour to get through the first area, mm. and then after the recording, I decided to do it, and it took me like what. Five minutes. Well, this is what that's something this thing does without the lizard. Oh yeah, I was in Germany, and I was with a guy, and he had Dark Souls three, and we were we were playing through it. That's and the whole time, like when we were listening to it, we were listening to bell bottoms, and it was super like, yeah, this is badass. Soul of the Sword Course. Yes, Baby Driver is my favorite movie. Thanks for asking. I don't know if it's my favorite movie, movie, but it's certainly up there. Yeah. I, I think, think I'm gonna admit the reason I do know about bell bottoms is because of that movie. I think it's Edgar Wright's objectively. It's his most. Best film. You can't say objectively best when it comes to Edgar Wright because they're all good in their own ways. Like, like different meters. Compare Baby Driver to Scott Pilgrim. Oh no! And I, you I, got I, small, I, small brown head boy, and that's it. Those are all the similarities. Also, Baby Driver just. It's a hell of a lot better than Scott Pilgrim. Well, you say that because you're like a book loyalist. Mm-hmm. Indeed I am. Yeah. Well, I, it's brilliant in its own ways, and actually I think it's pretty loyal to the books. Even though, even though it doesn't have Lisa. Hey look, Lisa's right there. Best game. Fuck off. Oh, bloody hell. Yaw. Oh, shit. Ow. Remember your shield. Remember when you first got me into Dark Souls and you were like, shields are a complete waste of time because you hadn't tried a shield with 100 um, damage resistance, so you just thought that they didn't stop that much damage. Yeah. It's kind of confusing though how like the stats, without expanding the stats, it looks like, oh this one blocks 71 damage and nothing else. Where like, well, that's, that's just I, the attack I damage it does. That to... Oh, bloody. Oh yeah, when, when I was doing this boss in Germany, um, like, I had actually, I just found out how to lunge forward, and how to kick. Yeah. So I was doing the whole boss battle just doing that, because I was like, wow, this is so cool. How long did it take? It took three years. Oh, okay. I meant, like, did it take, like, an hour or something? I don't know, I didn't, I didn't time it. Well, then, like, a while. And, or... like, we all had beer, and he also, he had, like, a setup. Oh. Like, his be he slept on the sofa, it was a big sofa that took up two corners of the room. On the shelf, there was a bunch of brandy and games. PS4, massive TV screen, and you're not Nice. And it was, it was just kind of like, this, this, this is where um, him and his bros had games night. Sweet. Um, there's a dude down there. Oh. Looks like there should be a dude down there. Oh, maybe there isn't. Oh, oh there, there is. is a dude down here. Just not in dropping range. That's just silly. <clears throat> Why did I see this guy that in one hit? So like, fuck off. Mm. Just completely dismiss, like dismissal. Yeah. You're acting in a very dismissive way. I can't English right. <laughs> Heaven established. What does that actually mean? Um, heroes never die. Oh, Basically, okay. Basically, whoever says it, English or um, Swedish. Swiss. She's not from Sweden. Swedish. From Switzerland. Okay, I heard Sweden. I, like I heard it from Killian, so who knows? <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's Killian, so. Yeah. I'm Batman. <laughs> yes. Good. Soon your journey to the dark side, side. will be complete. The dark side. The dark side. <laughs> oh, who was the actor that played Palpatine? Oh, 
the the name Ian McDermott comes to mind. I think because like say what you want about the prequels, he was having a fucking oh, blast. Yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> he he certainly made the prequels somewhat bearable. Yeah, the one I contributed to memory was when they're in the Senate. Like I love that scene anyway because they're just throwing Senate things around, like Senate discs. But, um, but he's at the top, he's going, ah, 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 oh shit, the heights! And it's amazing. With, ah, Ow. Something like that, he just know he, he's just realised how kind of, oh, I'm about to fall. I got a bit carried away there. <laughs> I love, um, the robot chicken thing, where was, um, like, Vader frozen down the, um, the shop, he's like, and then, you're um, wondering how I got yeah, here. Yeah, the who kicks in. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Sometimes when you wonder how the f did I get here, <laughs> yeah. it's bleeped. Hey, you do, much, you do more damage to him now he's gone all. Oh, wait. Three. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Ow. Wah. Oh, fuck. Just quick attack, quick attack, quick attack. One quick attack. Yay. They punched him in the ass. Look at me, I beat him on my first try! Oh wow! Yay! But imagine, like, when you ever you first play this, you see, wow, that's a massive sword! Yeah! I can't wait to use it! Oh... Wait, guy, what are you doing with that sword? Oh, it's a bonfire. God damn it. But, like, even that is kind of like a false, false herring, because it kind of gives the fact that you can place the bonfire wherever you want. Oh yeah, it does. That would be a cool mechanic. Like, okay, what if you could only do it at a set location, but there were limited amount of swords, like... There were the same amount of locations that bonfires could be, but you needed a sword to do that, to light it. Or an, an item to light it, and there were less items than there were places to place. So you had to be really strategic. Ooh. Because I was going to say, you couldn't actually be like, oh, you could like place wherever the fucking wanted. And have like infinite checkpoints, but. Yeah. <laughs> you would just place it out of the boss room every time. That's what I'm thinking! The whole yeah. shortcut thing would be completely redundant. Exactly. Oh, right, because you don't look for shortcuts. I, it's not I don't look for shortcuts, I just don't hey, listen up, realize. Please. I'm going to tell a story that's happened multiple times now, where Steve has had trouble with a boss, and I actually explore the rest of the location where the boss is and find the shortcut so he isn't trekking through the whole area. You know what a bad thing is? I can actually think of an example of that. I can, think, fucking, of, I can think of three. Are oh, you fighting pajama sand? <coughs> yeah. Ow! Oh, right. No, screw you then. Fuck you. We'll come back for you later. Besides, this is a strength build, not a dexterity build. Fuck it. Oh, so, so. I actually don't know this game. I've gone through Dark Souls 1, but I haven't gone through Dark Souls 2 or 3, so... Don't bother with Dark Souls 2. Yeah, I know. I remember I started on Dark Souls 2, and I actually... Like, the Dark Souls was there, and I could see that, and I was liking it. <coughs> but everything else was kind of painstaking yeah. and, and horrible, and I really wasn't enjoying it. I don't and know then, if I'm like, even going to bother yeah. like, completing it. Oh yeah, and then after a while I I picked up Dark Souls 1 instead. This is a and much I, yeah, better game. I remember walking up to you and a couple of friends and saying, Everything that was changed in Dark Souls 2 was for the worse! Yep. Hey, what happened to your sword? Wait, what? Why the fuck? Oh, there we go. Do you have to... Why do you have to do it from a certain angle? That's stupid. Yeah. It's like, oh, you can't place from that angle. Turns around. Now you can place it. I think it's because you're facing the, like, the hill's <laughs> going to be in a different direction if so. But even then, it's kind of dumb. Like, just... it could just be like... Yeah, have it like that, and then as soon as you rest there, have it change then. Because it disappears. No, it doesn't. Never mind. Whatever. Let's just talk to this. Lady, can you twist the sword? <laughs> oh, wow. I, I did not mean it to be that sexy. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> twist my sword, baby. Twist the sword. Mufanism. Hooray! Like. Share. Nerve. Subscribe. Comment. And judge me. Outro. Whatever there. Mufanisms. Yeah.